I was working on a flyer and it was frustrating me. There were, there were things that were just annoying me about the formatting or whatever. And I somehow pressed a couple buttons, like normal buttons, and the whole thing just disappeared. First of all, you know, my, my immediate thought was like, why is there a setting on my keyboard to make everything disappear? That's like, there shouldn't be a shortcut for that. Like who created that? And then I was like, well, you know, control Z, right? Or command Z, whatever it was, command Z to go back, to undo. It didn't undo. And I was like, no way. No way is there both a button to delete everything and then somehow that bypasses even the undo button. And of course, I, I processed all this within <laughs> a second or two. And then before I knew it, and this is the disturbing thing, like I usually have this second or two of just like, dude, don't freak out about something like this. Um, but with this, it almost seemed to be gone. And I'm not sure if that's because because I hadn't freaked out in a long time and this was just built up or I, I don't know what it was, but all I know is it's like uh, three feet away from me is a closet door. I just laid into the closet door. I kicked it pretty goddamn hard. I kicked the closet door. As a grown man, I had a temper tantrum and kicked the closet door because I lost my flyer, which turned out to not be completely lost anyway because I had saved a more recent version. But anyway, I, there was no impediment. There was no filter between just like kaboom. And here's the thing. It hurt my toe. It hurt it a lot. And this happened, I think this was Sunday and it's it's Friday now. Um, it's mostly better. It hurts a little bit. For that time period, I, I thought I actually broke my toe. And it actually ended up affecting my week because I typically go on a long hike and I decided to go on a shorter hike because I wanted my toe to heal and that kind of stuff. And, you know, part of me was like, well, if you broke your toe, dude, you deserved it. And part of me, part of me did, right? I, I don't think it's broken, which I'm very thankful for, but I'm kind of glad that it hurt all week because that is the reminder I needed even though I've done so much work on myself and have had those that anger aspect really, really addressed for the most part, it's still there, obviously. And I couldn't even stop myself from basically hurting myself. And you can look into the deeper aspects. Oh, was I annoyed with my own incompetency and therefore I needed to physically hurt myself? I'm not a self-loathing person. I don't think that's what's going on. Thanks for psychoanalyzing me. But... The situation was I did something basically against my own will that physically harmed me, physically harmed me. I, I would never physically harm somebody else in that situation. I'm not, I'm not that type of person, so I'm not concerned about that. But I hurt myself, and that's pretty damn bad too. And if I hadn't hurt my toe very much, I would have just been like, oh, well, that was silly computers shouldn't do that to me, you know, but instead I was like, well, a little bit of a wake up call, dude, you, you almost hurt yourself pretty badly here and pretty much over nothing. What's going on? You need to have a better way of managing your anger, even, even when most of it's gone.